Hey guys, I'm Dan. And I'm John. And this is Topic TV. And on Topic TV, guys, this week we're going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on our favorite game mode in Black Ops 3. And it's called... Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's called Michael Myers. And basically, what Michael Myers is, is there's one person trying to kill everybody, and then there's like two to as many people as you have trying to run away. And uh, basically, it's just a fun way that we play every single week about um, uh, That was weird. We play about every single week, actually, that game, right? A lot. Yeah. So quickly, let's get into this tutorial, and let's get it started. So guys, as we see in the rules, uh, the first thing that you're going to try to edit is the time. It's going to be 10 minutes. Pro. So basically, why it's 10 minutes long and it seems pretty long, it's for the first five minutes, you're hiding and you're trying to run away from Michael Myers, you're just trying to survive. Um, basically, nobody's allowed to kill except for him within the first five minutes of the evening. Um, so in addition to that, we have 24 rounds. So basically, so that every four rounds, uh, one person could be Michael Myers, and it is four four rounds who are Michael Myers. So then as we move down, we're gonna go to the competitive rules. Pretty much a specialist, you're only gonna use defensive, no offensive. So no gravity spikes, uh, Sparrow, Tempest, no War Machine, Annihilator, no Hive, Psych, Reaper, or Purifier. And this is just to add on, even though it's not uh, an um, offensive, Heat Wave. Um, and then after that guys, as we move on to the score streaks, basically as you guys can see here, I have restricted every single score streak. And the point of that is, because if Michael Myers is the only one allowed to kill, he will get a lot of score streaks and he'll just become overpowered. So here guys, we can see the custom classes, just all the edits that I did to it. Um, custom classes disabled so that people can use their own guns and everything like that. Uh, 15 selectable slots per, uh, per class, I guess you could say. Uh, Black Ops is Michael Myers and CDP are the hiders. Each uh, team has a different class. And if we go on to Michael Myers, he, um, the first one is Vanguard. It's the only one available, everything else I clear out and clear out. So Vanguard. He has a knife as a secondary. He has no primary, so he can still punch you just to tease around a little bit, which just adds on to the scary factor, I guess you could say. So he has one perk, afterburner, so he can just keep on jumping up and down and just try to get you slide. Sliding is the best option, guys. Uh, if you want to catch up to somebody in the last minute, you just slide right into their DM. Then for the second perk, we have fast hands. I don't think this does anything, to be honest. Fast hands is usually only for guns. But um, if it makes you shank faster, then hey, you get that extra bonus, you know? Um, and then after that, perk three, you have two perks. Uh, so you have blast suppressor, so you people uh, hiding cannot hear you jump. And then you have awareness, so that if you're quiet enough, you can hear people moving, because sometimes people like to tease Michael Myers by shaking objects next to them and stuff like that. You know, like, giving away the position a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this takes up a total of eight slots. Alright, uh, Vanguard, Vanguard is the CDP. They only have knives, no lethals. Uh, tactical, they use shock charges. Shock charges, you do not know how much it will save your life. Yeah. So and basically, uh, this, it, it really helps when you want to juke him out. You just jump into the air, you throw your shock charge down. And you have to be very careful because you can shock yourself. Yes, do not listen to somebody when they shout out, throw it at your feet! <laughs> because they are trying to psych you out! And it's not cool! <laughs> I oh. can't believe you did it though! <laughs> uh, Sixth Sense is good to have when they're close by your screen, your mini map will actually start lighting up red, showing you which direction they're coming from, so it really helps out. Uh, tracker, really good. When they pass you by or you don't notice that they pass you or anything, you will look back and you can actually see their footsteps from a brief second where they were. And then uh, in addition to Tracker, yet again, two perks is the final one. Dead Silence uh, and Awareness. Dead Silence so that when you're moving around, like when you're running and everything, he can't hear you very well. But remember, if you do punch things and you start punching, he could hear that. That's not silence at all. It's very easy to hear that. And then awareness, so that when you're on the ground, you're laying, you know, in the rubble, when you have six cents around you and you can hear them, it just gets freaky, honestly. And it just, it's its a really fun game mode that we love to play. So, um, especially late at night. Late at night is pretty fun. Uh, guys, don't forget this game is uh, not about cheating. Uh, that's why we make all the, all the classes preset. 
a lot of people will actually just uh, get salty and start just choosing guns or they're playing and they that just ruins the game. Yeah, yeah. So basically all of these restrictions, when you think about it, if you're seeing all these things and you just think it's going to be boring because there's so many restrictions, actually it just adds to the fun factor because now people are we're all equal in the game. Nobody's going to start cheating, pulling out a gun or anything because that's honestly, nobody likes that person. Nobody likes this salty person. So yeah guys, uh, don't forget guys, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and remember we will be live streaming this on Sunday the 6th at 6 or 5 p.m. Eastern time. Also, if you have any mini games that you want to try out, like kind of like Michael Myers or anything in any other game that, uh, that you think we should check out, let us know. Write a comment about it and uh, we'll, we'll try it out. Yeah guys, so in addition to this gameplay, we're going to start doing this weekly. Every single week we're, uh, we're going to add a shout out to the end of the video. And um, this week we're actually going to do two. One to a subscriber and then one to a friend of mine who's also a subscriber. But I just wanted to give him a shout out uh, to my best friend, uh, Virgilio. You're out there, it's your birthday today. And I hope you're having a good one. Stay safe and have fun, man. And I want to give a shout out to my friend. Uh, she's been with us and supporting us throughout the beginning. And uh, I really appreciate all of her help. Thank you, Dean. So yeah, thank you guys uh, for everything. We're going to be doing weekly shout outs. If you guys want a shout out, say it down in the description or private message us, whatever you guys want. We'll give you guys a shout out every single week. So yeah, guys, this has been John. And I'm Dan. And we're Talking TV.